Well, hello there, and good evening, everybody. I'm uh, William Brantley from the North Jackson, Tennessee area, uh, near Westtown Commons uh, Shopping Center, uh, ready to report to you today's uh, climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days here in just a few minutes. So that to be a very beautiful day today. We almost, <laughs> I emphasize almost, had some rain today, oh, around 530. It missed us by, oh, maybe 10 miles, roughly, at least here in the heart of the city of Jackson. I'll put it that way. It did pass to our east. Lexington might have gotten a few sprinkles, but most of it was over in Middle Tennessee. Yes, we did have that back door cold front. It moved through right around the 530 time frame or so. And that basically means uh, tomorrow's going to be a beautiful day, tonight's going to be a beautiful night, but the temperature is going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow, a couple of degrees or so, than it was today. But I can handle that. At least we won't have no highs in the 50s. Whew. It's chilly when that happens. Uh, but tomorrow's highs should get on up to, uh, what, uh, 73? Today it hit 79, it could give you an idea of what to expect tomorrow. It's been another pretty day in a long run. Uh, I'll go ahead and read you the stats, uh, then I'll show you the radar here in just a few moments here. Uh, well, I don't know, you might want to see them right now. I'll tell you what, let me show you the radar while, uh, while I give you the stats. Hold on just a moment. That way you know exactly where it rained. See there, I'm gonna put it over, there's nothing over, there's nothing to our west. As you can see from here. What rain that we had was to our east, literally. And as you can see, as it went by, uh, approximately five o'clock, or about 4.45, five o'clock, it almost made it to Jackson. It, 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 you can see with a little quick glimpse that it came, uh, let me see if I can get my pen, that close to Jackson. That is getting real close. That looks like out there around the ballpark, out there around uh, the Jackson General's ballpark, or, or just barely east of there is how close it came to Jackson. But it took, as you see, it quickly moved on and uh, we winded up not even a sprinkle here in North Jackson. And I'm going to say probably not that it's a general's game either. Uh, Lexington might have had a few sprinkles, but most of the rain uh, ended up being uh, southeast of us. And now it's almost way down in Alabama now. Most of the rain, it can stay down there, no offense. Uh, now, but uh, that's where it is now. Let me get a slightly wider view on that and uh, give you a better idea. Oh, we really hit it. Look, look at that line. My goodness. It's uh, really, it's really coming down down there in northern Georgia. Uh, just north of Athens, Georgia and uh, northern Alabama. We went through Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, I did to hit Chattanooga, Tennessee back around 4 o'clock. It's passed through there, of course. And it looks like a little tiny line is trying to form up around Hopkinsville, Kentucky. I'm going to have to broaden this out just a little bit. Oh, okay, I see now. Uh, there's a little bit up there, uh, north of Hopkinsville and over uh, east of Bowling Green, Kentucky, over there near Somerset, Kentucky, and Campbellsville, Kentucky, which is well away from us. And it's moving southeast, so that may be affecting uh, possibly... Knoxville and maybe Crossville a little later if it doesn't fizzle out first. It'll probably dissipate, but it might even dissipate before it hits Tennessee. Uh, that's possible. 
But that's really about the only thing that's on radar right now. Otherwise, everybody's pretty much uh, on the clear motion here, which is good news. Other than that, uh, see, uh, Arkansas is clear. There's uh, nothing other than what I just showed you. And like I said, it, it, it tried to, look like it tried to rain just a tad over there toward Ripley, Tennessee, briefly, but I don't think it followed the amount as much over there either. And uh, okay, well, I'll, let, I'll leave that on that while I go through. Let me go tell you what, I'll go ahead and show you since you've seen the radar and where the rain's at. Uh, I'll show you satellite in just a minute. Let me go ahead and go through the stats while you look at the radar. Uh, live as of 606. Uh, today here in Jackson, North Jackson, is partly cloudy at 5 p.m. The temperature was 78 degrees at 5 p.m. The dew point was 51 degrees. The uh, humidity was 39 percent. The uh, winds were weather gusty out of the west at 22 miles per hour, gusting to 32 miles per hour. And the barometric pressure was 29.90, excuse me, 29.75 inches of mercury. Today's low temperature was a chilly 43 degrees, normal 54, and we only missed the record by 3 degrees. We were close. 40 degrees is the coldest low back in 1992. We came within 3 degrees of time that record, but we didn't. Thank heavens. And today's high, like I mentioned a moment ago, was 79 degrees. Very beautiful. Normal 78. <laughs> so we one degree above normal. How about that? Real close there. No precipitation, no rainfall here in North Jackson. And I'm going to bet probably most of West Madison County. Maybe a trace in a, on the eastern side of Madison County. Uh, possible. But I don't know of any actual measurements out there yet. Okay, uh, no precipitation here, like I mentioned. The lowest um, uh, humidity was 39% today. That occurred at 2, 4, and 5 p.m. The highest would be 93%, and that was at 1, 2, and 4 a.m. Today's... Uh, I can't remember if I gave you the barometric pressure highest or lowest. I'll give it to you again just in case. The lowest barometric pressure was 29.75 inches, and that was at 5 p.m., while the highest would be 29.86 inches, and that was at 12 and 7 through 9 a.m. And the highest wind gust today was out of the west, at the Jackson Airport at 38 miles per hour, and that was at 2.27 p.m. when that occurred. Uh, the sun sets tonight at 7.46, rises tomorrow morning at 5.57. The moon will be rising, or did rise weather, uh, this afternoon at 4 p.m. and will be setting tomorrow morning at 3.53 a.m and be rising tomorrow evening or late afternoon at 4.57 p.m. Okay, uh, let me show you the satellite real quick. Uh, it's uh, as of uh, 5.30 um, Central Daylight Time and you can see the clouds as they were moving through Jackson at about that time. That's, uh, they were moving through Jackson right around about uh, 5.30 p.m. or so. And they, the clouds actually stretch on up to over, over to Jonesboro, Arkansas. And there you see the clouds from the rain and storms that did form over southern Middle Tennessee. They're moving now down, down into Alabama and northern Georgia, of course. And uh, nice and clear behind that, which is the weather coming our way. 
Uh, let me see if I can get a, uh, a south, southern regional view uh, without giving me a lot of trouble. Real quick. Yeah, cool, cool. I love it when it cooperates with me. Uh, the southeastern view of the U.S. is looking good. There's the cloud cover and there's that little pin pointing toward Jackson. Uh, Tennessee is 50% uh, clear and 50% partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. <laughs> it's a nice little combination there, isn't it? Oh, look at Florida. Anybody down there having a vacation? You look like you're having a good time down there. The skies are clear and I'm sure the beaches are beautiful uh, being that sunny down there in Florida. Don't look like a hardly a cloud in the sky except up around Jacksonville, Florida. Maybe a little bit there in the west central part going across the state, but no big deal. Key West looks nice. That's beautiful down there. All along the coastline of any of the states, actually, not just Florida. Carolinas, Virginia, uh, uh, the Gulf Coast, Panama City, uh, New Orleans, Texas, you name it. And it's like it's pretty much clear a good, uh, good, port, uh, uh, part, good part of the country. Let me try a nation, national view. Let's see if it'll come on up real quick. Maybe it'll come up before too long. Um, that one's hesitating. I right, know, and then it finally showed up. Cool. It finally showed up. All right. I'll give you a quick view of the whole nation. I don't look all that bad, really. Clear skies all the way from, in the central part, all the way from Canada to the Gulf. And scattered clouds out west, of course. It still don't look too terrible. Probably some rain showers mixed in with those clouds over in the mountains. Uh, of course, there's the clouds over the Appalachian Mountains, basically. A little bit of South Carolina, North South Carolina, on up into Pennsylvania, Ohio, and up in the northeast corner. As the sun's trying to get a little low up there in Maine, uh, well, it is 7 o'clock over there, so that kind of explains that. Now, there's some heavy clouds down the southeastern part of uh, Canada there. And over the Hudson Bay, it's so-so. Uh, down here where we're at, we got good weather. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> All right, uh, let me move on to the forecast maps. So that's a pretty good picture of the whole country at one time there. And there's a pin showing where Jackson, Tennessee is. All right, this is tonight's forecast uh, uh, according to the National Weather Service as of 3.40 p.m. That's close enough. Uh, showing the front moving through us. It's down around Memphis now. Moving on south. With low pressure over there, over the the south, uh, western South Carolina border. Not too terribly far from Chattanooga, actually. And a cold front stretching the rest of it all the way to Montana. Uh, there's the precipitation in that uh, dotted line area. And there's the other um, uh, frontal systems. And uh, there's the frontal systems out west. and in the area where it's raining or possibly snowing in the mountains and that extends on up into uh, southwestern Canada. Flash flooding is actually possible way up there uh, just north of Maine in the southeast corner of Canada and I have no clue what that part of Canada is called. Not at the moment anyways. My mind's going very blank on that. And, and then forgive me if I don't know Okay, uh, Sunday morning's forecast uh, for about 3.45 a.m. Hey, we're looking good for us. Look at that high over Kentucky there. A little pressure off the coast of uh, New Jersey uh, or Maryland, or right in that area anyways. That cold front stretch of vent all the way through northern Florida and back, back over toward uh, Kansas and Nebraska. It looks like. Uh, other than that, uh, out west is a mixed of rain and snow in the, some of the mountain areas. Uh, and there you see the other mount features. 
across the country. Flash flooding is gone now from this map, from up the northeast point we were just talking about. There's no threat of flooding and no threat of severe weather anywhere in the country. Not for tomorrow, cool. Maybe it's time to dry out a little bit, especially up there in Missouri and uh, parts of Missouri near St. Uh, St. Louis and parts of Arkansas has been suffering from all that. All right, here's Monday morning's forecast map. Monday morning for about 3.47 a.m. Still don't look too bad. Uh, uh, it looks like the, the th that is a threat of rain from according to this map uh, over Middle East Tennessee toward uh, Monday, even though Thursday is going to be our, here in West Tennessee, our best chance for rain is not until Thursday, but it looks like there's a possibility over in portions of Middle East Tennessee, so good luck to them. Other than that, uh, there's a high take care of us. Uh, there's the west again. Uh, the snow up there in southwest Canada, probably in the mountains, rain in the valleys. Uh, another big area of rain in the center part of south Canada. And that's pretty much it. And for us here in West Tennessee, we're in pretty good shape. Let me go ahead and take it back to tomorrow morning's map. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave it there Sunday mornings. Wait and see what uh, YouTube does for me on the choice here in just a few moments. I'll go ahead and give you a few days of the printed forecast. Oh, I knew there's something I forgot to give you a while ago. I'll go at the records. <laughs> I just don't, dummy. Let me give you those real quick. Don't mean to be getting away from the forecast. Today's records for Saturday, uh, May 6, 2017. Today's hottest high would be 92 degrees and 1952. The coolest high would be 61 degrees in 2013. The warmest low would be 69 degrees in 1952, while the coldest low would be 40, well I did give you that one earlier, in 1992, and remember we had 43 this morning, so it came close. Today's rainfall record would be 2.74 inches, and that fell in 1998. Alright, I'll go on to the forecast now. It's going to be, now that the front's moved through, as you saw, the skies are very close to being clear by now. Uh, it's going to be mostly clear tonight, tomorrow, all the way through Wednesday, which is the way it's looking right now. Uh, we have should have a low tomorrow morning, Sunday morning of 45. It's going to be another cool morning with a high of 73, thanks to that cold front. But still, 73 is not bad when you have plenty of sunshine. We'll have north winds tomorrow at 5 to 10, so at least the winds will be dying down by tomorrow. Probably toward midnight tonight, actually, they will become nearly calm and on into tomorrow morning. Uh, Monday's forecast, of course, mostly clear, low near 48, a high of 81. Here comes the warm weather. <laughs> With south winds at 5 to 10. Tuesday, mostly clear, low near 58, a high of 84. With west winds at 10 to 20. Uh, next Wednesday, mostly clear, low near 61. High of 86 and west winds at 10 to 20. And here's Thursday's uh, forecast. It's going to be clear, or at least mostly clear, till about noon. Then mostly becoming mostly cloudy with a 60% chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. With the low near 63 and a high of 82 with southwest winds at 10 to 20. <clears throat> and next Friday it's going to be mostly cloudy with another 60% chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms with a low near 59 and a high of 68 with north winds at 10 to 20 but it's going to become fair though by next Friday night the 12th uh, well by sunset uh, I think I uh, gave you the low expected 59 and a high of 68 with north winds at 10 to 20 right now next weekend looks pretty too mostly clear both days Saturday with a low near 50 and a high of uh, 71 with north winds at 10 to 20. And next Sunday, the 14th, it's going to be 
Uh, fair skies, a low of 51 and a high of 74 with north winds at 10 to 20. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to call it at that. And I hope all of you have a very pleasant uh, uh, Saturday night, May the 6th, 2017. And I uh, hope you wake up to a beautiful Sunday, May the 7th, 2017. And I hope to have a, a video update for you tomorrow night. It may come a little late uh, since tomorrow night is church night, but we'll see how that turns out by tomorrow night. If not, I'll be back with you Monday evening, and I'll give you a quick summary of Sunday, if that should happen. Otherwise, I hope to talk to you again tomorrow night, and until then, or Monday night, uh, good night, and may God bless you.